Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Darren, and in today's video I want to showcase you guys how to win the new brawl, which is the Deep Wind Dunk, the easy way. Now, I spent a good part of my morning trying to play this BG and just trying to record a few clips of it on my Rogue. Actually, I'm probably going to release some of my first attempts either way as a standalone video, but regardless, I've had the hardest time winning this brawl. I've even went as far as swap between my main Rogue and my alt Rogue on Alliance, just to see if I have a chance in hell of playing this BG and even getting a win. But this is one of those BGs where as a rogue you can't really take it into your own hands. As even as an outlaw rogue, while I have a grappler hook, I don't have the tankiness of a warrior or a demon hunter or a paladin or the cooldowns I need in order to slip right through and get a cap. So your team either has to be spotless and perfect or you have to get against the team that is completely useless and has no idea what's going on or you simply play something that is really tanky with a lot of mobility. The easiest time I've had with this BG, and I've done this a couple of times now, just back to back to back, was playing my Demon Hunter. Of course, this can work as well if you have a warrior, preferably a Fury Warrior, that has the talent where you can use your Heroic Leap three times back to back to back. Or if you play a Paladin and you spec into Double Pony, and you basically combo together Hand of Freedom with Pony in order to rush through the enemy's riders that try and defend, Get near the dunk area and dunk right on it. Unless you're going to be running with healers and you know that these healers got you back, this BG is a little bit difficult for anybody playing solo, especially if you're playing rogue. I have yet to get a win on my rogue, but playing a demon hunter it's a whole another story. And I think the reason that that is true is because of the design of the battleground. So let me go let me go over the BG because this is the first video I'm making about this battleground in particular. So what's different with this battleground? It's basically basketball. Think of it as basketball where you don't really take the ball and take it to your net, you take it to the enemy's net. So the middle, instead of having flags, we have balls. You pick them up and basically you have the same capture time as that of a flag. You cap it and then it's called Mogul all over again. Now you have an orb above yourself and you gotta take it to the enemy's side, not to your side to bring it back. You gotta take it all the way to the enemy's side where they're spawning from and where they have an easier time defending. So that is the difficulty of this BG. And instead of having cards that you run, you basically just try to score as many of these balls as you need to. You basically have to score 15 of these, which is a little bit too much. And I think in the future they will adjust this brawl to maybe about 6 or 7, because 15 is way too many. Especially with the fact that this brawl doesn't have any time limit whatsoever. Once you get near the dunking area on the Horde or Alliance side, whichever faction you play for, you have the opportunity to either start a cast time in order to take a shot and shoot the hoop kind of like from a three-point line actually basketball or you can get up really close and have a guarantee that you'll get the dunk in the difference is if you get close the cast time is basically minimal if you are a distance the cast time is somewhat out there so you can be cc'd and uh controlled a little bit so it's worth just running up to there as fast as possible this BG is more about just trying to get to the enemy side as soon as you can and when you're close when they're playing the defense you just want to pop a few cooldowns in order to help you get right through the enemy front lines like I'm doing right here. Just pop my Godzilla form, I'm running through, just getting as close as I can, all the damage increases, all the damage is on me but as long as I get the dunk then I can make my miraculous escape or so I thought. But as a demon hunter of course one of the things you can do is a lot of mobility. As a demon hunter, you're able to spec yourself in. You should have a few talents for this, but chance very few main a demon hunter has havoc. Then doing this as a tank demon hunter shouldn't be all that difficult. But basically, what you're trying to go for is the metamorphosis form where you have the stomp, basically called Godzilla form. So you want the Godzilla talent. You want to kind of spec yourself in terms of honor talents and normal talents a little bit more defensively where you can. You do want to take the very first talent row where you can use your infernal strikes, I believe is what they're called, a lot more often because that'll give you a lot more mobility overall. And everything else is kind of just up to you. I just went for whatever defensive things that I could, something more convenient, nothing that I had to really line up. So that's what really works out for this kind of brawl. Then the general strategy afterwards is to take the orb as close to the enemy side as possible. And because you are a tank and because you have the Godzilla form that suppresses some of the movement impairing effects, not really that much brutes, you kind of want to combo all these abilities together back to back. One of the things that you have as well as a tank class is a lot more defensive capability. So when you're getting rushed out by a lot of the teammates on the enemy side, just trying to get you off and trying to defend because you're a tank and this is Legion, you basically get a guaranteed few seconds of live without any healers. So that's all I did. 
and this, is this clip right here you can see i just dunked and then now i'm back with my team who are now pushing because now everybody is back stuck in their own base again playing defensive all i'm trying to do is stick next to whoever has the orb and in case they drop it i could just go in and dunk it real quick the whole time in the bg i would just spam it to people hey just drop the orb hey give it to me hey give it to me because i knew as long as i could get myself a few seconds and just a quick slip into their base close enough i had a guarantee chance of being able to dunk on them unless the team had a bunch of death knights who could just grip me all the way back out to middle into some kind of a uh, combination of just death knight grips just fishing me all the way back to the mid i don't think there's no way they can win this can also be done with many other classes including anything that is tanky and mobile so anything that's basically been flavor of the month flavor of the month classes are and this is all up to you we have demon hunters with a tank form although you could probably do this as a dps if you wish to have a little bit of harder time but with metamorphosis at a two minute cooldown if you spec for it maybe you might be able to get a few dunks in there and as an extra leap you'll have the backflip the two dashes forward and metamorphosis to combo but i would definitely just recommend going tank if you are going to go hunter we also have paladins paladins are pretty good they're pretty much a flavor of the month as well you can basically just go with double pony talent and go hand of freedom so this way you're able to if you get close enough slip uh, hand of freedom pony pony and just slip by the enemies and as soon as you get near the dunk area just dunk bubble and back out and repeat even as a fury warrior which is another flavor of the month class a fury warrior can basically pop your defensive use the triple jump that you get or triple heroic leap which you have to spec into but you basically triple leap your way in there dunk and then you bail out and there's a fairly short uh, cooldown reduction and simply because you're a fury warrior with a lot of health and even the a chance for your artifact weapon to proc making you invulnerable for i think it's like 10 it's off between 8 to 10 seconds of invulnerability basically like a last chance a last stand in call of duty or something it makes you invulnerable so then you can use that time while you're still alive for a little bit longer which will still leave you with a flag it will still keep the orb on you while you're invulnerable basically at death's door you can make a few leaps and still make it in there and still dunk on the enemy side which i think is a bit ridiculous but also a little bit hilarious anyway this is everything i have for you guys and hope you enjoyed this guide video if you are somebody who has an off spec for a tank or maybe an alt or maybe you're having a really hard time playing as a rogue then hopefully you had fun with this i personally didn't really enjoy this battleground i actually had no fun with it whatsoever but that's mostly because i play a rogue and as a rogue this bg was an insanely difficult experience as a rogue i can't really carry the team i can't really carry the flag and i have only one grappling hook which i can use only once in a while but i'm also really squishy i'm not quite the glass cannon like blizzard described me i'm more glass than cannon but that's kind of what rogues are as of legion but unless i have a team that has this demon hunter combo playing there's not a lot i can personally do but if you really want to affect the turn of a bg just get on one of these flavor of the month classes and enjoy your fun thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed let me know what you thought about this bg in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next video